Okay, so this is the actual flyback transformer itself. I took this out of an old uh, Dell CRT monitor, and as you can see at the bottom, there's like 10 pins, and there's a few wires coming out that you wouldn't need. Except for this one, this is the wire with the suction cup, and this is the high voltage out, high voltage positive wire. Now, how you find which pins go to what is pretty much what you do is you take your multimeter like what I've got over here, you switch it to the short circuit um, short circuit mode which will basically beep when it when there's a short circuit so coils are just coils of wire so they will indeed short circuit as you can see you can hear it and these are the feedback coils the short circuit as well now the feedback has actually three outlets so we've got one more pin down here and you can hear that, and you can tell it also short circuits to this one. Hold on a second. There. So all three short circuit to it. And those are the feedback. Now to find the negative, the high voltage negative out, what you do is you just, once you get the whole circuit up and running, you just take a alligator clip clip it onto one which is not one of the coils and then um, test the other one with the high voltage out and as long as it arcs that means that would be the high voltage out, high voltage in, negative so yeah that's how you find which pins are what this is my very simple resistor box and switch box for my flyback transformer driver as you can see we have two resistors here, this is a 220 ohm and this would be your R2 and this is your 270 ohm and this is your R1 resistor so basically your high voltage flows in will flow it in from here to a dead man switch momentary switch, it only clicks it only works as long as you press it in, once you release it stops this is your in high voltage uh, um, primary voltage in, 6 volts and this is the out, this is towards the primary coils on your flyback this is from your resistor, from your transistor sorry and this is from your feedback, feedback coil this is my um, heat sink with my transistor mounted on it, this is a 2N3055 radio power transistor all the white stuff you see is a thermal compound which helps the heat to pass from the transistor to the heat sink and we have, you see a small a thin layer of material that would be the Mika insulator on the back we have the contacts and mounting platform for the transistor um, basically you screw it on on this side and it screws onto this side holding it in place you just solder the, the leads out from here and then you have your emitter, your collector and your base and this is basically what the transistor looks like when it's not mounted, this one's got a little bit of a dent on it but that, should, that doesn't really affect the operation it's a 2N3055 made in Mexico it's got two legs this would be the emit, this would be the emitter, this would be the base and the actual transistor metal casing itself is the collector okay now let's wire the circuit up okay this is the positive from the from the battery that goes over here we have a positive flowing to the primary coil on the flyback we have, well, I use white for my feedback so we got our feedback coils feedback, one side of the feedback goes to the base leg of the transistor and one goes to the fuse box or resistor box Okay, and now we have our negative, so that goes from the emitter, emitter leg 
the negative. Lastly, we have our primary coil negative. I like to use yellow for it. And now we keep the high voltage away, and you should get a distinct high pitch whine from the transistor. Okay. Ah, yes. Negative for the battery. There, you can hear it. And lastly, you want to clip on the high voltage negative. And if you look carefully. Okay, so here I've set up my circuit again. Um, here's a high voltage. Um, I use a piece of newspaper to keep it weighed down, or as a chicken stick. And I've got my negative, high voltage negative. I'm using a 6 volt, 4.5 amp hour battery. And yeah, I've got everything set up. I use a ceramic tile, so I don't burn, put burns in the floor. As you can see, it's got quite a few burns on it already. So yeah, let me just fire it up and I'll show you what I can do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to do a short run with my 12 volt 5 amp hour battery so you can see the difference. As you can hear, the sound is slightly different. And I have some concerns that it might be arcing inside the flyback, so I tend not to use the 12 volt too much. Okay, here we go. There's some marks. And yeah. Let's burn some paper. Yeah, it pretty much burnt the entire piece into ashes. So yeah, that's 12 volts. You can do a lot more with it. But it might reduce the life of your transformer.